good afternoon children today in this class we are going to learn the refraction of light through the glass slab and at the same time we are also going to find the critical angle critical angle and what is meant by total internal reflection how the total internal reflection is taking place with a simple experiment one and only one experiment we can find the refractive index of the glass slab at the same that is the semicircular glass slab and at the same time we also find the refractive index of the semicircular glass slab see that for that one what are the materials needed we need a drawing board and a white paper and drawing pins next a semicircular glass slab next one a laser light next a pencil next one what is that protractor okay so before starting the experiment take a white paper take a white paper draw two mutually perpendicular lines on the white paper okay so the point of intersection name the point of intersection as o as o on either side of o keep the protractor like this keep the protractor like this and mark the angles and mark the angles here also you mark the angles see this one you mark the angles on either side are you clear next one now keep the semi circular glass slab keep the semi circular glass slab such that the middle portion that mid point of the glass slab coincides with the o that is intersection point of two lines drawn on the paper are you clear now see this one i kept the glass slab like this okay now light is traveling from this is the denser medium and this is the rarer medium here is glass here is air so now light travels from denser to rarer denser to rarer what happens when light travels from denser to rarer observe this one this is the laser torch see i am allowing the light observe this one at an angle of 0 degrees observe this now the light is passing through light is incident at an angle of 0 degrees means it is incident making an angle of 0 degrees okay 0 degrees the angle of incident and angle of refraction is also 0 angle of refraction is also 0 when light is incident normally the speed of the light changes but it suffers no deviation it suffers no deviation next up to this one up to this is very very important now i am focusing the laser making an angle of 10 degrees up to this 10 degrees okay see when the angle of incident is 10 degrees up to this one when the angle of incident is 10 degrees angle of refraction is 15 degrees angle of refraction is 15 degrees next one again the light is incident on the glass slab making an angle of 20 degrees see this one 20 degrees the angle of refraction is 35 degrees up to this the angle of refraction is 35 degrees next when the angle of incident is 30 degrees up to this up to this one give me a pencil or black 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 and black paper. see this when the angle of incident is see this 30 degrees up to this when the angle of incident is 30 degrees angle of refraction also changes see this when the angle of incident when the angle of incident is 40 degrees 40 degrees up to this okay i'm i'm going on increasing that up to the trace try to trace the trace the light ray refracted ray see this 
see this when the angle of incident is 40 degrees refraction angle of refraction is 60 degrees observe this here at an angle of observe this is very very important see this see when the angle of incident is 43 degrees after this after this the refracted ray is traveling parallel to the boundary this is the boundary after this one the refracted ray is traveling parallel to the boundary when I increase the angle of incident further, see this one. The light ray instead of refracting, it is, it gets reflected into the same medium that is denser medium. Okay, so this phenomena is known as what we call it total internal reflection. See this, after this. Now the light is reflecting again after this. Try to trace it, trace the trace it. Okay. Instead of refracting, the light ray is reflecting into the same medium, denser medium. This phenomena is known as what we call it total internal reflection. Observe this total internal reflection. See this for certain angle of incident. See this one. You trace it. It can be It can be It can It can It can For certain angle of incident, observe this one. Here the light is reflected. See this one. For certain angle of incident, 42 degrees. 42 degrees. This is 42 degrees. See this one. The refracted ray glances on the surface. Glances on the surface. See this one. See this. This angle of incident is known as what we call it a critical angle. Critical angle. So this here the critical angle is 42 degrees. So when I increase, see this one, total internal reflection is taking place. Observe this. This is total internal reflection. Okay. Write down these values. For certain angle of incident. Angle of incident. For certain angle of incident. The angle of refraction is 90 degrees. Here in this experiment, the critical angle in the denser medium is i is equal to 42 degrees 42 degrees for certain angle of incident for certain angle of incident what is happening the refracted ray instead of going to rarer medium from the denser medium okay it glances over the surface it glances over the surface at that time see here i am drawing this here see this this is the normal this is the normal this is the incident ray actually the light ray has to go like this it has to move away from the normal because it is moving from denser to rarer medium for certain angle of incident here in this experiment it is how many degrees 42 degrees how many degrees 42 degrees this ray reef see this one travels parallel to the interface okay this angle of incident for which angle of refraction is 90 degrees is known as critical angle critical angle denoted by ic is equal to 42 degrees 42 degrees when you go on increasing the angle of incident go on increasing the angle of incident the light ray 
gets reflected into the same medium this is known as what we call it a total internal reflection total internal reflection so how to calculate the refractive index of this glass slab semi circular glass slab see this one here i am writing the formula a total internal reflection see this one refractive index n is equal to 1 by sin c this is the formula 1 by sin critical angle is 42 degrees this is roughly equal to 1.462 1.462 So, refractive index of this semi-circular glass slab is equal to how many? How much? One point four six. So, how much the how much the material bends the light when it passes through it is nothing but refractive index. Are you clear? So, with this experiment, we find what is total internal reflection for certain angle of incident. For certain angle of incident, the angle of refraction is ninety degrees. At that time. if you go on increasing if you go on increasing the angle of incident the light ray don't go refracted ray don't go into rarer medium it gets reflected into the same medium denser medium so for the total internal reflection to take place the light ray has to travel from denser to rarer medium remember that denser to rarer medium okay right make a note of it right thank you